New concerns this afternoon about food recalls. A government watchdog says the FDA isn't moving quickly enough to protect consumers from tainted food and is leaving Americans at risk for illness and death. Veronica De La Cruz is here with more. Veronica? Ken, the report by the Department of Health and Human Services isn't even complete yet, but auditors felt the findings are so alarming they went public with them early. I'm very concerned. Government auditors are reviewing 30 food recalls between October 2012 and May 2015. They uncovered at least two cases where consumers remained at risk of illness or death for several weeks after the FDA knew of potentially hazardous food. I think the time that these recalls took were problematic. Absolutely. George Netter is leading the audit. It found that during a salmonella outbreak in 2014 linked to nut butter, it took 165 days from the date the problem product was identified to the date of the firm's voluntary recall. There were 14 illnesses in 11 states. And during a listeria outbreak later that same year linked to cheese products, auditors determined a series of recalls took 81 days to complete. At least nine people became ill, including an infant who died, and two pregnant women lost their fetuses. You're FDA, and you know of, as you say, eight people are already ill or have gotten ill over this. How many days would you expect? How many days would America expect them to take to figure out and get this product off the shelf? I think that we have traditionally done a very good job. The FDA's Dr. Stephen Ostroff is defending the agency, saying thousands of recalls are handled successfully each year, but he says some cases are challenging. For us to be able to do the tracebacks and be able to identify how these all come together takes a fair amount of time in some instances. Now, the FDA is already making some changes in response to the inspector general's probe. It's setting up an internal review group that can push for quicker actions on recalls when needed.